Hello you! This is Pantsman UK and this is a PM UK preps video. In fact, it's my fourth PM UK preps video, specifically for Equivalent Exchange 3 pre-release 1, which Pahimar, bless him, released a little over eight hours ago. Ish. He said, allowing for the change over to British summertime. Uh, from British summertime, I should say. Spring forward, fall back. <laughs> uh, so yeah, about eight hours ago, I was watching Pahimar stream the release of Equivalent Exchange 3. And I figure I might as well do a video for it. Um, so here we go. We have Multi-MC 4.1. Build 25 for Windows, sat here with all my lovely instances in. Um, a lot of which I don't actually use at the moment. But anyway, we're going to start by making a new instance and I'm going to call it EE3PR1. I'm going to hit OK and that gives me down the bottom, because that's the way it does it, a new instance. No, not play. Change icon first, please. Uh, let's have the pretty creeper face, I think, this time. This isn't the first time I've recorded this video. I've had some production errors in the two previous attempts. So anyway, here we go. We're going to hit play. We're going to get to go into Minecraft. And... And there we go. Minecraft 1.4.2 as we all know and love it. I'm going to pre-prepare my settings for when I actually get into the game proper. That's all fine. Uh, come on, wake up. You're almost through your first coffee. It's about time you were awake. Uh, no view bobbing, that on. Diddly 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 dee, yeah, that'll do. And let's have tab and list. And right, there we go. That's us done in that vanilla instance. Now the real fun begins. And I have tested this now. You can do this in the way I'm going to do this right the way, right now. I ha already have downloaded, and in my Dropbox here, Sfax 128 times for Minecraft 1.4. There are a few errors in it. I've got Optifine A6. There is an A7. I've got Not Enough Items 141. I've got Minecraft Forge Universal 341. Um, for Equivalent Exchange 3, you will need at least, at the very least, Minecraft Forge 601 338. Um, if you go via the uh, Minecraft forum post that Pahimar made, um, he sends you to the Minecraft Forge download page. When you're there, it's not recommended you want. It's it Basically, it's latest. Um, that's what I've got here is latest, but I'm going to show you how to do it the easy way in MultiMC. I've got Inf Tweaks, I've got Equivalent Exchange 3, I've got Code Chicken Core 066, which is the current version, I've got Ray's Minimap, and that's my pre-done configs for Ray's Minimap, but I'm not installing those because that's the ones for my um, my SMP play at the moment. So anyhow, let's get on with it. You hit Edit Mods, and in Build 25 or above of MultiMC, you'll have four tabs here. <coughs> We're just going to start by clicking this button that says MC Forge. And I know that slid off screen there, but that's download and install Minecraft Forge. And I'm going to select 341, which as I say, I've already got downloaded, but we'll download it in MultiMC because it's slightly easier. And yes, it does come up as MCP, not as Forge. Not sure why. Interesting. Uh, we're going to pick Optifine. We're going to go to the Core Mods folder. We're going to pick Code Chicken Core, and we're going to pick Not Enough Items. We're going to go to the Mods folder, and we're going to pick 
raised minimap, we're going to pick intertweaks and we're going to pick EE3. Of course, if you don't like raised minimap, don't install it. If you don't like inf tweaks, don't install it. I'm not telling you you have to have these things all installed. I just don't like playing without them. That's me. And we're going to go to texture packs and we're going to add the Minecraft 1.4 Sfax, which isn't perfect and nor is Optifine. Um, there, there, there are there are known issues in, in the A6 build. There is already an A7 build. I haven't tried it yet. Um, I'm almost tempted to try it now, but I'm not going to. So there we go. We have Forge, Optifine, Code Chicken Core, not enough items, Raise Minimap, Inventory Tweaks, Equipment Exchange 3, and Sfax all installed in one hit. Do note, I haven't run Minecraft yet. I've just added all my mods and textures all at the same time. Now we hit the play button and go in. <clears throat> and there'll be some more faffing around because a lot's now changed. There we go. And there's your little forge slash optifine blurb. Oh, lovely. So let's go in and show you. There's all the mods installed all in one go. Oh, I didn't know it did that. Teach me to pay attention, won't it? Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Well done, Pymar. Plop. Yeah. Uh, right. So, we're now going to do things the proper way. Ah, uh, Sfax. I feel... It, it feels wrong using Minecraft without, with default, personally, to me. Um, options, controls, d -d 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 -d. right, so there will be some crossover between the new command controls from Equivalent Exchange and the controls that, uh, let's have a think, it's, it's Race Minimap gives us. And let's pop that into Fancy because it's, it's nicer. Done. New map, create new world. I'm going to turn bonus chests and allow cheats on. Just because I can. The bonus chest comes in handy. <clears throat> it may contain some absolute tut, but it comes in handy. So there we go. We're using the, the most up-to-date version of Equivalent Exchange 3, but there is a new Optifine available, as, as mentioned. Right, what's in my chest? Oh, a right load of tut. What a surprise. Although the apples come in handy. And there we go. Let's just turn this into utility mode because we might as well. So, plop, plop. Here's our equivalent exchange items. Diddly dee, diddly dee, diddly dee, diddly dee, diddly. Now, the first thing, uh, basically, that's us done. Um, just to give you a tiny heads up, um, last night during his stream, when he was just talking about um, equivalent exchange, I, I, it was quite late in the night for me when he started his stream. It was one in, one o'clock in the morning, as far as I was concerned, and and I, I was having trouble sleeping, but. Uh, I was very tired by the time he started streaming. First thing you want to build is the inert stone and then work up from there. I, I assume you can then go from the inert stone to the minium stone. The philosopher's stone I don't believe has a recipe yet. No, there you go, I'm clicking and there's no recipe so you can't get that other than cheating it in. The minium stone does have a, a recipe and you Collect minium from I don't know where, I suspect it's an ore or something of that nature. Should we have a look and see if we can find an ore for minium? That's redstone. That's diamond. Should we click minium and see what it says? Mm, nothing. So it must be it must be an ore or something in world gen. But anyway, yeah, you want to you want to start off with an inert stone and then work up. 
to a minium stone was what Pahimar said. So there we go. That's it. Ten minutes almost exactly. We've gone from nothing to Equivalent Exchange 3 pre-release 1. And lovely. Don't know about you, I'm now waiting for the lovely Feed the Beast team. Um, well, I'm waiting for Pahimar and the lovely Feed the Beast team. Um, although having... Ah, no, I'm not. I'm waiting for Elaram to get out a public uh, Red Power 2. Because Red Power 2 is the thing that's holding back the Feed the Beast mod pack. Uh, where are we? Hang on. Let's pop this into the modes I like. Back. There we go. Waypoint is that. Done and done. Yeah, I'm waiting for I'm waiting for the lovely Elarum, God bless her, to get out of public. Um, Red Power Two, or even a final Red Power Two. I mean, a public beta would probably work as well as a a public release um, at this point. And then the Feed the Beast team can release their map and their mod pack. And then I can install it on my Creeper Host server. Oh, pardon me, sorry. Caffeine, the beast that is caffeine owns me. Um, so yeah, that's, that's gonna be my next output. Um, hopefully it will be the the next normal feed the beast map. Failing that, I'll I'll do some. I I have a. I have an account with my um, VPS hoster. They have a Minecraft server, and I I have an account on there. So I might do some. I might either do some streaming or some stream recorded streaming. Um, on our server, um, on the Bithost uh, Bitfolk server. So there we go. Um, have fun. With Equivalent Exchange 3, I can tell you nothing. This is effectively the first time I've played with it properly. Um, hate doing this, but like, comment, subscribe, please. It makes all the difference to those of us who have YouTube videoing broadcasting accounts. And yeah, like I say, hope to see you fairly soon with Feed the Beast, the map version 1.4. Tatty bye for now.